Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Chrome Remote Desktop not working in Windows. If you're having trouble connecting or pairing with Chrome Remote Desktop, don't worry, I'll walk you through a fix that involves adding a folder and making a change in the registry editor. Let's get started. First, we need to add a folder to Chrome's directory. Open File Explorer by clicking on the folder icon on the taskbar or by pressing Windows plus E on your keyboard. In File Explorer, navigate to the Chrome user data directory, and this is usually located at C, Users, Your Username, App Data, Local, Google, Chrome, User Data. This is the path. If you don't see the App Data folder, you may need to enable the option to view hidden files. Click on View at the top of the File Explorer and then check the box that says Hidden Items. Once you're in the User Data folder, look for a folder named Default. If it doesn't exist, you can create it by right-clicking inside the User Data folder, selecting New and then Folder. Name the new folder Default. Inside the default folder, create another new folder and name it Remote Access Host Allow Client Pairing, without any spaces. This folder is crucial for fixing the issue. Now, let's make a change in the registry editor. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type regedit and hit Enter to open the registry editor. In the registry editor, navigate to the following path. HKey Local Machine, Software, Policies, Google, Chrome. If you don't see the Chrome key, you may need to create it. Right-click on the Chrome key, select New, and then DWORD 32-bit value. Name this new value Remote Access Host Allow Client Pairing without any spaces. Double-click on it and set its value to 1. This will enable the pairing feature needed for Chrome Remote Desktop. Click OK to save your changes and close the registry editor. After making these changes, restart Chrome to ensure that the new settings take effect. Try using Chrome Remote Desktop again to see if the issue is resolved. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And click on that notification bell to never miss an update.